When we say democracy, it's not just a slogan. Uh, I think uh, democracy basically gives back the citizen a right to have or exercise his or hers self-determination. So the way Iranians understand democracy today is not like they used to talk about it, let's say, 50 years ago or 100 years ago at the turn of the 20th century where the first constitutional revolution occurred and an absolute monarchy transformed to a constitutional monarchy back in 1906. Um, democracy today is perceived far more than just a structure of governance. It is pervasive as you read blogs, as you read debates that happen within Iran, even you know, the, the, the average man on the street, not necessarily sophisticated intellectual debate, recognizes that, and, and that I mean as they hear more from the outside world, uh, when they look at how uh, the people of the UK or France or the United States or Sweden or Japan or many other countries that are democratic benefit from so many, um, how can I say, uh, guarantees of due process of law and the rule of law. Uh, and why is it absent in Iran? And how much of it is because a democratic system is in existence? Uh, I think they understand more that for a demo society to have a democratic order, uh, there are so many aspects to it. It's not just a good law <laughs> if there's no means to preserve it. Um, there's no way to solicit justice if there's not a strong independent judicial system. How could you have democracy in a country that after 35 years you still have a revolution revolutionary tribunal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and that they see it on a daily basis. They are, the simple citizen sees that. So when, you tell, when I tell you that they're ready for it, it's because the lack thereof makes them understand why is it that Iran, who should have been by now the Japan of the Middle East, is much more like North Korea. Um, I think that they sense it more than just being said, you know, and repeated blindly and uh, parroting it. I think they sense it much better now. So rather than not comprehending democracy, it's the opportunity to get there. And that's where they find that it's very hard to gain freedom. It's easy to lose freedom, <laughs> but it's very hard to gain it back. And the, the progress is, is, is quite visible. Uh, as I said, the only thing that is not quite yet widespread is how many still are attempting to think in terms of reform, as opposed to those who have said, it's no use. This is an irreformable system. But that is not to be mistaken with their aspiration to freedom and liberty.